Hi there, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh... Yeah, um... Hang on, I can't figure out how to... There we go. Alright, let's continue. Okay. Who do we have? Who do we got? I think we did this already, didn't we? Yeah, we, we did our upgrades already. That's right. Wait, did we? Well, that was last chapter we did them. Oh, well. get from hmm what did we get from Lunasa last chapter I don't even remember right right the only yeah we already gave that to someone though we gave that to Momoji I think okay it, it's coming back to me it, it's weird because I didn't stream last night and I'm sorry about that uh Besides the fact that, well, part of the reason was because Reap over here wasn't available last night for whatever reason. Um, but there was a bigger reason behind that as well. When I got home from work, I had more work to do. And it was stuff I had volunteered for. It wasn't like, like, it wasn't like they forced it upon me or anything. I think that would actually be against our union policy. But, um... But yeah, uh, I, I had some more work to do when I got home, so I was I was working on that for the longest time, and then I'm like, okay, let's start streaming, and then Reap was nowhere to be found, so I'm like, alright, fuck it. So, you know, it's all good. Now, I know I said last time I wasn't going to be using Lily in this next chapter. It says I've dropped some frames. Oh my god, my internet... Oh, I shouldn't have streamed tonight. My internet's been shit all day. Hold on. Alright, well, I need you guys to do me a favor and let me know if, if the stream quality is going down and shit. Because I might have to cancel the stream early if I'm dropping frames. I've never dropped frames on Streamlabs before. I've never done that. Fuck. Alright. As I was trying to say... It's gonna happen again. As I was trying to say, I know I said I wasn't gonna be using Lily last time. But then I realized that... I still need her uh, battle music. And she's got two different themes, and one of which is unavailable after you... Uh, after um a certain point and that certain point is like the next chapter not this chapter coming up but the chapter after that so i need to use her this chapter and have her attack something i don't care or have her be attacked she's got sense so you know i got the cost for it anyway so why not god i can't believe i'm dropping frames my internet actually went out earlier today, and I don't know why. Nothing else went out. It was just the Wi-Fi. So I don't know what's going on there, but it needs to stop. All right.
Is Nazrin's name really spelled with that many characters? As opposed to Show? Look at that. Nazrin's got like five characters in her name. Show's got one. Seems odd for a Japanese name. Like. Wait, how do I say this? Like. Written in Japanese, not like, um. Romanji or whatever it's called when it's translated into English sounds and all that. It seems strange to me. I'm also not that familiar with Japanese names written in Japanese, though, so I don't know. Ah, okay. I guess that makes sense. Ah, okay. Chapter 29. It says it's called Encounter. But. Hold on. Considering it's in all caps on, um. Like, the chapter name, if it were translated in English, would be in all caps. And that usually signifies that they actually do have it in English, but I guess not. Okay. Whatever. It's no big deal. All right. So, I think the win condition here is, is to defeat Chen. Uh, but if either Nazrin or Sho are, def are defeated, it's game over. I want to approach this. Well, actually, there's really only one way to approach this chapter. But before we get into that, let's take a look at stats here. Shit, I don't remember the buttons to press for this. Oh, wow. Um. Alright, you got Buddhist. Prevail. Blocking, looks like. Support defend, sounds about right. Buddhist support attack predict streaming or grazing or whatever they call it streaming I think it's called kind of like what I'm doing so yeah that's really the only way to approach this chapter Geez, Shen begins to move too? I didn't know that. That's probably not good for me. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing.
Oh, these guys are still here. I thought they would have left too. All right, so now our reinforcements have popped in. I need Lily to fight something here. I also don't want to... I think I know what to do. No, MCH. Can't you tell from all the snow? We're still on Mystic. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, there is snow stages in Eternal as well, but not until the very end. And it's only a couple of them. Now, we're still in Perfect Cherry Blossom and Mystic. Okay, um... How do I want to line up here? I don't need to think too hard about this, honestly. This is a relatively easy chapter. Is it lagging? Oh wait, no, you mean sh the chat lag. Okay, okay. Oh, because I dropped some frames earlier, and I'm like, fuck, because my internet's been... You weren't here for it, MCH, but my internet has been shitty all day, so... Probably not a good idea to stream tonight, but I'm doing it anyway. Fuck. Fuck that. You know? Oh, you're on mobile. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I hope that doesn't translate into... Huh, look at that Cerno face. I hope that doesn't, um... I hope it's just lag on your side because you're on your phone and not because my stream is lagging. That would suck. Alright, so now the defeat conditions have changed, we can let Sho and Nazrin die now. Um, so now we gotta clear the chapter within four turns of this. Of, of the reinforcements. But first I want to see something. Are these two holding items? No. And no. Okay, thank god. So we don't need to go after them then. What are you holding? You're holding a cattail. Makes sense. First things first. Oh, we start off at 110 power? That's convenient. First things first. We need this battle theme. Yeah, Lily's kind of pathetic right now. Thank God she's got sensor. I probably wouldn't have been able to get this. Oh, you got two. Okay. Um...
All right, we're getting all the level ups today. You're at 126? Wait, you had the frozen frog, didn't you? Yeah, okay. So you started off with 120 power. That makes sense. Oh, they changed the loop of the song. Or maybe it's just the YouTube version that's wrong. That could be it. I really actually like Sho as a unit in this game. I think her one weak point is that her attacks don't have a lot of range though. Like, the furthest she can attack is from four spaces away. I don't know why they included that either. I really don't know why they included that. Was that really necessary? Oh yeah, th these aren't ordinary crows. These are, uh... Zenki and Goki, I think their names are. I, f I don't know which one's which. I don't even remember where they come from. They must come from one of the manga adaptations. Like... I can't think of any of their names right now. Like the Visionary Fairies and Shrine or whatever. Or... Something. Or the one with Kassin, a Wild and Horned Hermit, that's what that one is. They must come from one of those. Because they're certainly not in any of the games. Okay, so then... Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't even know they appeared in Perfect Cherry Blossom. But yeah, yeah, I, I figured they first appeared at least as crows in the manga. Um, okay, so the name of the game here is Defeat Shen four turns after Raimi's party's appeared. I'm gonna need to check this. Alright, so this is turn two. See, the problem is... Ah, oh, okay. The problem is, I'm pretty sure this is the- No, this is special. She doesn't have double image yet! Oh, thank the 
fucking gods. Of course, you don't have strikes, so you're kind of useless. Which sucks, because you're the one I poured all my WP into. Maybe should have poured my WP into someone with strike. Alrighty. Do you have instinct dodge? You don't? Okay, that's good to know. Alright, so we're just gonna ignore all the fodder over here. Because, you know, why not? I said we're ignoring the fodder, damn it! Jeez, Rumia, you can have 105 SP? That's pretty good. Nah. I'm also not putting him in the Rumia Reap before you suggest that. I don't know why I keep targeting that crow by default, but whatever. Check what the spell card does first. Oh, this is why she doesn't have double image. Okay, that's fine. have strike considering all things considered. I'm not that surprised now that I think about it. No, actually, I want, I want it to be someone who doesn't have strike, but if someone doesn't have strike, they won't be able to hit Shen anyway. I'm gonna need strike for this next, uh, for this next spell card. They got plenty of units with it, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, isn't that just fine and dandy? Bakeneko, Shen. Oh yeah, I guess Fury could work too. Wait! Oh, they changed it! I think. They changed it! Oh, thank the gods. It looks like they changed it. I think. Unless that... No, wait, they might not have. That might be the kanji for double image. Well, now I have to check. Oh, it, wait, it, it just raises evasion rate by 40? For, I'm guessing for Shen only. That would be, that'd be nice if it affected us too, but it wouldn't. Um, alright. Oh, also. Okay. I don't know how I just realized that you're Fabula 
and not MCH, but hi, Fabula. What, I, you, come to think of it, you were the one telling me about Zenki and Goki. I thought that was MCH. It's because your names are both green. Sorry about that. Um, if I called you MCH at any point, sorry. Uh, it's, it's the green names. Anyway, hi there, Fabula. Thanks for following me the other day. On Twitch. Okay. Um, with, with that slight embarrassment out of my way, let's, let's try and capture this spell card, shall we? Okay, how do I want to do this? You don't have any support attacks left, nor are you next to anyone with support attacks, so I guess you should go first. Still don't have enough for rabies bite, but that's okay. Actually, you know what? Oh, uh, actually, wait, 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 wait. I can either get one use of Rouse to get Momiji's Rabies Bite, or two uses of a tune to put Strike on someone else. I think it's I think it's better if I save the two uses of a tune. So, especially since Rabies Bite, I mean uh, that's a lot more powerful than this attack, but eh. Oh right. Dang, Mama G. That was cute. That little fist pump, that was cute. I'll, I'll, I'll give her that. <laughs> Sadly, dodging the attack does not damage Chen. I can't believe that was a... One in five chance of dodging that, because 80% hit rate. I don't know how I dodged that. Okay. close to being able to hmm. if I can defeat one more enemy that should pump up Moko's power to 130 but I don't know hmm. how do I want to do that is the question this crow up here is very low on health I could probably defeat it would die but then dies left unprotected so I would have to take out the spell card this turn if I were to do that, which I think I can. It's a risk. Oh, this is really a risk. Okay, let's use alert, first of all. I don't trust that hit rate at all. Cool. Nice. Try and give Moku the kill because you're kind of low on level. Except you don't have enough for fancy seal. Look at that. These are Reimu odds right here. Granted, it's with the spell cards effect as well, but still. Aya doesn't get strike, does she? Let's see where her hit rate is. Yeah, I don't like that. She's a hug, you're up. Oh, 
I think this is the first time I've ever actually used a tune. I didn't use Shizuha that much in my other playthroughs, and she's one of the few who gets it. I don't know who else gets it. But when I did, everyone else usually had strikes, so I think this is my first time actually using a tune, ever. Alright, what do you think? Can we get can we get her with Moko? Let's see if we can get her with Moko. Wait, what was this power attack? 2800. That's the one I used. This is only 3100. Oh, this is gonna be. Well, Cerno's got strike. So glad Cerno has strike. Nah, okay. Alright. I used Kisume, actually. I used... Kisume is actually very good. Or was. I don't know if she still is. Like, I think she can get seven levels of support defend? Thanks to her P skill, which you would... Well, I... You would probably never need that many support defense, but... Or maybe that's mailing. Maybe that's mailing I'm thinking of. But I feel like it was Kisume. Alright, cool. But yeah, with a P skill, it gives you three uses of support defend, and you can combine that with a with a natural level four support defend. So, you know, that's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. Again, you probably never need that many, but... Then again, I never made it to Endgame a Dream. Maybe you do need it there. Oh, I, I did not need Cerno. I did not need Cerno for that. Okay. Cattail. EX mission. I don't know why I'm bothering with these EX missions. Oh, I forgot about those enemies up there. I forgot about Sho and Nazrin entirely. Could have gotten some kills for them. Oh, well. All right. Oh? Oh, right! Right, this is... Oh, shit. You guys are only level 18. Well, this is gonna be fun. All right, first let's decide who I am using. And then we'll take out people that I can, that I can afford to go without. Definitely want you show. Alright. Now let's take out... Take out Aya. Damn, except there's no one else I really want to take out. I guess Cerno. Still need to take out 3.5 though. Can't take out those three fairies. Oh, I need Sakya too. I need Sakya. So now I gotta take out six. I'm trying to think of who the... Okay, yeah, I, I remember what this next chapter is. So let me... I guess I could take out the Akis. That, that, that attune did really help, though. But, eh. 
course, if I take out Minoriko, then I don't, I don't think I have anyone with grit. Wait, no. Sho has grit. Okay. I mean, not that you absolutely need someone with grit, but it's nice, you know? Alright. You out. So there's one more person we can take out that isn't die. Not that we would anyway, but... Since you're only 1.5, but like, I wouldn't take you out anyway. You're a healer. Granted, so is Lily White and apparently Natori, but, you know. Hold on. I'm gonna put Natori in just for a second here. Well, what do you know? This would cost her 10 MP. Oh, it's probably because of uh, purity on die, though. But still, what do you know? I mean, I didn't, I'm not saying I doubted it, but it just seems like a weird change. Alright, uh... I will never take Rumi out of my party if I can help it. I mean, I guess we could go without Sakia for this one chapter, although... deployment does that mean like when you actually deploy into a chapter or just on the intermission screen in, in between each chapter oh, okay so, so you can change it back and still use regular notori okay cool okay i mean that is that does it only affect notori or does it affect everyone with form changes That, that seems like a bug that would affect anyone who has a form change. Which might get annoying later. But, you know, whatever. Only Natori? That's weird. Not that it's too much of a problem. Honestly, the only reason, in my opinion, you would want to use um, regular Notori over full armor is if you have two costs remaining and you don't have anyone else to throw in that could fit since full armor is 2.5 and regular is 2.0 I think that's that's the only reason I can think of I, who else do I want to take out I I guess Moko fine we'll take out Moko how many units does that give me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven not counting these four, but these four are kind of worthless, honestly. Especially these three. Only level 18. Come on now. You're better than that. No, you're not really. Alright, let's let's point up here. Wait. Actually, I'll wait on that MP upgrade. Oh yeah, you do have a costly attack. Okay. Alright, well, I guess I should upgrade these little fuckers, huh? Pump up their survivability just a tad. Oh, Lily counts as a 1.5. Oh, wait, that's right. We went over that. 
She'll jump up to two in a second, though, I believe. Alright, well, we're almost out of points. I'm surprised. We've had a stockpile of points for a while, and we're almost... We've almost gone through them all now. That said, we'll be getting some more after Perfect Cherry Blossom's over, and I think... I think we only get one unit. Yeah, that's what I figured. Um, I think we've only got one more unit to get in between this chapter and the end of Perfect Cherry Blossom, I think. Unless they... they... Then again, we got mailing Ellie and Karumi early, sort of. But even then, they were they were in the last chapter of Scarlet. They didn't join our party. They were just temporary units to control. We got we actually got to upgrade them at the normal time. So I doubt they changed anything there in um, Perfect Cherry Blossom. So we'll see though. All right, let's take a look at. It's that time again, looking at uh, P skills for new units. Where is Sho on this list? Probably with the rest of the UFO characters. Here we go. Alright, so this is Dazzling Gold. Unit obtains 15% more points. That could be nice. Uh, Bisha Mountain's Protection. Yeah, at 120 power damage dealt plus 10%. That's also very nice. And enhanced spear continuous. Increases the spear continuous as weapons range power or power by 250 and range by one. Honestly? All of these are really good. I don't know which one to go with. I think This attack is her second attack, right? No, it's her third attack. Her finisher. So having plus more power and range on that is actually really nice. I also like having 10% more damage dealt in general, though, once you hit a certain, certain point. And I also like getting more points, but I think we're going to go with Bishop Mountain's Protection. As for as for the Naz, yeah, it just goes to show that Kamachi is far inferior to everything else in this game. Like, I think that still requires you to get the kill with Komachi, or show, depending on which skill we're talking about. Like, it still requires you to get the kill with them, because it says unit obtained more points so anyway ooh, ooh, ooh. right you so this is rat bite the Nazrin pendulum weapon causes the target to receive 10% more damage for one turn well yeah okay it looks like that didn't change unless unless it's an additional 10% oh it does it by default now oh wait no no that's because we have the P skill equipped okay I'm dumb if I were to switch to this, then I bet. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Wait, before I do anything else, I want to save. Because I forgot to do that. Okay. So, oops. So this is Rat Bite, which I've already gone over what it does. Uh, this is Clever Commander. Focus... Cost 10 SP. This is essentially a free use of focus now that we've got SP regen, 10 per turn. It's actually really nice. And this is Pendulum Guard. Reduces all damage by 2,000 four times. I don't particularly like this skill because if you get hit by an attack that wouldn't have done a lot of damage anyway, it's kind of a waste. But for Nazrin, it's kind of nice since she's kind of, you know, frail. But still. I think we are going to stick with Rat Bite, though, at least for now. Because, oh boy, 
boy, that sounds really good now that it's, uh, it's, now that it's a regular debuff and not just something you use a certain amount of times per chapter. And it will come in handy. It will come in handy against not the boss of this chapter, but the next chapter. Did we get anyone else? I don't think we did. Well, did these guys, did Mercer's guys get anyone else? I don't think so. Not it. Yeah, it doesn't look like they did. Alright, um... And with that said, do I have enough for skills? What would I even want on you? I don't know what I want for you. Uh, maybe MP save, actually, because... The three fairies are soon gonna start going through their MP like crazy. With a couple new attacks they're getting. But... It's not worth it right now. And then these two just wanna stock up on SP+, plus, but we'll wait on that too. We don't need to do that right this second. Oh, you have enough for level two! He's not the best tank in the game, that goes to Mei Ling, but, or at least from what I've played, I think there's a better tank that shows up in Dream, but eh, I still prefer Mei Ling, honestly. But anyway, he's not the best tank in the game, but she's a good supporter, support defender, nonetheless. Alright, uh, you want diligence, but I don't think you have enough for it yet. Okay, you've got level 1 on, so I should probably get you level 2. Oh, you're close to the next level, predict. Ah, uh, we won't bother with these guys for now since we're not using them. You know what? I'm gonna have to put Nazrin in my party soon, though, because it... For the next chapter, I mean. Not this one, but... So you guys start at level 25? That's nice. I think these guys are my highest level units! Oh, well, there's Keen. How did Keen get to level 25? Okay, that's fine. Right, items. Um... I guess I should start taking stuff off of people that I'm not going to be using for a chapter. So that I have enough resources for the people I am using. Yeah. All right, now that that's all said and done. All right, you know what, Marissa? I like this plus 10 mobility on you. But god damn am I sick of you not being at 130 power when I need you to be. We're gonna try and fix that somewhat. Now we got a spare grimoire. Oh, that wasn't from Mercer, though. That was from... Okay. Let's give the... We give the grimoire to Reimu. Unless... Well... Nah, we'll give you the cattail. And 
who wants to grimoire? Maybe Momaji. Momaji kind of goes through MP kind of fast. Right? I mean, not terribly fast, but... If I were to, I, this way I can spam rabies bite, so why not? Sakia will take a rat tail, I guess? No, how about, how about this? Easy. And then three fairies get leftover shit. <laughs> Lily's gonna become an alcoholic here. Maybe I should give you the fan. You're at five move. I think you'll. I think you'll go up to six at the start of this chapter, right? I think you do. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Oh, except I forgot you still got item slots. Yeah, alcoholic, uh, Lily it is. I guess I got nothing left that I would want to give you. Maybe... Maybe this. But even then, with SP regen, I never use these items anyway. Meh. All right, shall we move on? I think we shall. What the fuck? Chapter 30 Cherry Blossom Barrier Above the Clouds Part 1 What? Why does this fairy have a map attack? What? Sorry, excuse me? Why does this one random fairy have a map attack? Like... There are six others... No, there are seven others like her on the map. But she's the only one with the map. Okay. Alright, that, that, that's fine. Um... 
I don't understand it, but whatever. Right, we're actually gonna put Sonic down here. We're gonna send Marissa's group up here, actually, because... Usually I send Marissa after the bulkier enemies, like these Kadamas over here, but I really need her to get more kills, so... I really do. We're gonna need a support defender up there, too. Alright, and then these guys... How many support defenders do I have? One, two... Not counting Diose. Or Luna. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that might be a little bit overkill, but whatever. You never have too many support defenders, in my opinion. Oh! You know what? Before we before we keep going, that's right. We have enough. How much is the next level? One twenty. Okay. All righty. There we go. Shall we? Shall we go? We shall. Just so you know, this face was actually in the original set of games. I forget where it originated from. I think it might have been in Dream it originated, but... It, well, actually it wasn't quite this face. It looked a little different if I remember right, but... The premise was the same. Because I know you like talking about that line tool, Reap, but it, it, it wasn't just for this game. Alright, so this chapter is kind of a clusterfuck. I'm not seeing the characters for Lily White, so I'm guessing she can die no problem. But if any of the three fairies fall, it's game over. Uh, we have to defeat the Prism Rivers and the... Up. Oh. That, that, that's my Discord. Uh, that's what my computer and my phone did just now. I'll take a look at it in a second, MCH. Uh, so the bonus, or the EX mission, is to reduce each of the Prism Rivers, each of the Prism Rivers HP to below 60%. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. I don't know what that is, MCH. I don't know what Big Rigs is. I've never heard of that. Is that the joke? Is that people never heard of it? What? Wait. Wait, hold on. You don't have a map. Why do you have that exclamation mark down? I thought that was reserved exclusively for units with maps. Ah, okay. Someone on this map must have a map. I know that these these ghost guys can at some point, but 
It doesn't look like they do this chapter. Why do you have this? That's curious. I don't know what's going on in the back. But anyway, now that Lily has perked up. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, now that Lily has perked up, she's gotten buffs to pretty much all of her stats. Probably a bug. Yeah, that's what I thought. She's gotten buffs to... She's gotten buffs to pretty much all of her stats. Um... Including... Well, not mobility. And maybe not armor, actually. But she's definitely gotten a buff to her HP. Uh, she's also gotten some skills. That, you know, she didn't have before. And she's also got a couple new attacks. Including a map, which... It... I've never quite figured out how this map works. I know it deals damage to a set radius, but... I think Lily moves when you use it, too, and you can designate where she'll move to, I think. It's, it's kind of... It's kind of cool, but it's also pretty weak, so there's really no point in using it. So anyway... Maybe I will in my free time, but not right now, obviously. Yes, kill for Marissa. By the way, this is around the point in the game where I usually get strike on Marissa if I'm playing on her route. Since I use her more often, since she's available more often, she's usually at a higher level. It's usually like the next chapter I get strike for her. Alright, what's this? Oh, this is Speed Star, I think. I think that's what it's called. Unfocused movement plus one. That much I remember. I forget what the other effect is. I think it's evasion rate plus 15%. But let me make sure of that, because I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, this is Speed Star. While unfo- Oh, okay. While unfocused movement plus one and evasion plus 15%. So if you're focused, it has no effect. So, okay. That makes sense. We'll probably put that on after this chapter. Wow, these ghosts have a lot of health. Even more than I remember. Really, Sakia? Marissa and Alice dodged similar, uh... Similar hit rates. And yet you can't do the same. Alright, well, I, I'm not taking the risk that... I don't... I think Lily can be defeated just fine. But I'm not taking that risk.
That probably won't happen, Reap, but I don't know. Damn it, Sakuya! You would have gotten hit by that again if it weren't for mailing. <sighs> oh, come on, Marissa. Really? Damn, Romeo, you're a champ. Oh. Oh, a new spirit. I think that might be Daunt. But I don't know. I don't recognize the uh, kanji for it. I think it might be Daunt, though, because I know she used, used to get that. Okay, that's what I thought. What Daunt does is it reduces an enemy's power by 10. It's basically the exact opposite of Rouse. Which raises your power, or the exact opposite of, yeah, Rouse, which raises an ally's power by 10. It, it's essentially the exact opposite. We got ammo save on her now, so we can afford her. Oh, I didn't realize she was our little one. All right, cool. You're up to 56. Might as well.
Nice. Hindsight maybe shouldn't have sent four of my five support defenders off to one side. Probably not the best idea in the world, but, you know. Alright, that is... I forget what the name is, but that's the one that turns it to night around you. Now it affects all squares within two or all squares within a two two tile radius. God, I can't talk tonight. And that includes the square you're on, by the way. So if you have a partner, it'll be nighttime for them as well. Nightfall, that's what it's called. Okay. Um, when I said it was on, um, when I said it affected your partner, like, on the square she's on as well, I, I meant while she's in front, but I guess that wouldn't really matter, because she's the one attacking, I don't know. I, I, I forget exactly how terrain works in this game. I think, I think unit ranks affect evade and defense, which means that, um... Which means that a partner in the back wouldn't benefit from terrain ranks or suffer from them. But attack ranks, like like the ones you see here, those affect your damage output. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, I think that's what it is. What are your ranges here? Four to six. Two to five, or six, five, and six. Okay. Maybe I should let these guys come to me. They're, they don't seem that threatening. It's this ghost I'm worried about. Oh, they affect hit rate as well? Okay. I didn't know weapon ranks affected hit rate as well. I knew it affected damage. I knew everything else you said, but... I didn't know about hit rate. That's that's good to know. Mm. Oh, these guys can't even attack from up close. That's that's also good to know. health bar in one hit? Sane, you're a champ. In fact, that might be below 60%. I don't know. I'll have to do the math. Oh, so close! So close to under 60%. It's 84.60, that's 60%. Okay. Damn. So 
So, cool fact about this stage. Everyone has a conversation with one of the sisters. But with the exception of Reimu, Marissa, and Sakuya, which sister it is is... I mean, it's, it's the same every time, but which sister you would have to attack to get the support con or the conversation, it's kind of random. Like, you, some of these you wouldn't expect is what I'm trying to say. Not that it matters since we're playing Japanese and can't understand jack shit anyway, but... There are translations out there. Rumi is already at 150. Very nice. Sure. I mean, it would make, I would I would believe that weapon ranks affect hit rate, but maybe they don't. Okay. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they did. Is what I'm trying to say. Got this mailing. Ah, shit. I moved mailing too far. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Not liking those odds, but whatever. P square, very nice. All right. So hold on. Okay, so you're at the point. I think you're at the point, too. You must be. Yeah, 8,700. That just leaves Lunasa. Yeah, I knew it was a 10% bonus, or penalty. And it goes up to SS, right? Or, no, it goes up to SSS, is what I meant. Um, triple S. I think it goes up to triple S, which is 30%, so... No, I think it can go up to SSS, but only via stuff like the Adapt Spirit. It, it's like very specific cases, but you can go up to SSS, I believe. It's it it's not permanent. I think SS is the max you can have, like, for a whole chapter or whatever, but... I'm pretty sure you can go up to SSS, though. Really? Huh. I think they might have changed that in this game, because I swear I saw someone saying something about Triple S. I might have to test that out later. It's like a sworn. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I... I don't know me nearly as much about this game as I would like to. I I'm not afraid to admit that, but... Oh, okay, so maybe... 
I swear I saw someone say something about it, but maybe they were just wrong. Who knows? Ah. No. One move, Momo G. Maybe, maybe, maybe it does work as SSS if you compare the damage numbers, uh, not damage numbers, but like, if you compare the numbers, but maybe it just doesn't show up as SS on your, um, on your unit info screen. Huh. Might as well spam this as we got the grimoire on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think I think it might just not show it as triple S, but I think it still acts as if it is triple S. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Again, I don't know as much about this game as you guys do, so. So how low do we have to get your health? 60%, so... Ninety-two forty. Okay. The phone is filthy. There we go. All right. There we go, EX mission cleared. Alright, who of these would be the easiest to defeat? Probably, with the way my positioning is right now, probably Merlin. Oh yeah, definitely Merlin. Uh, how do I want to do this? I really should get my positioning in order first, but eh. Well, whatever. Um, I think we're ready to activate this. Actually, wait. Maybe I should move Alice first, just in case I won't be able to. There's always focus movement. All right.
I love that scene. Even in Japanese where you can't understand what they're saying. It's great. The prison rivers combine into the 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 prison rivers. Funeral concert, prism concerto. All right, this has a real mess of effects, and I don't know how many of them they changed. It used to double ammo consumption, increase enemies' power at the start of each turn, decrease players' power at the start of each turn. Now I don't know what the hell it does. I think it still looks like it still uh, doubles your ammo consumption, which kind of sucks, but whatever. You guys are only at 100 power! <laughs> okay. Probably should have set my positioning first. Oh well. No big deal. Yeah, I'm no I noticed that before. And if you like go into your status or anything, it'll completely pause, but it won't... Like, the power wheel is not indicative of your actual power until it's actually done. So, you know. more damage than I thought it would, honestly. Oh no. Okay. Should probably heal you soon. What's their range here? One to six. I think we'll have Alice move down here. I mean, worst case, you got alert. You know what? You got alert. So if you get attacked, no big deal. We will move you right here, however, so you have Damaku. I hope these guys don't move, but I think they do.
come to think of it, wasn't there supposed to be an event with these three? Maybe that's next spell card. Because he got two. Oh, it was just the next turn. Okay. Glad I didn't defeat them that first turn now. of like cast valor which is nice if they were actually anywhere near where they need to be but i didn't want them to die so you know so i guess this is tutorial and combinations so now the three fairies of light can just go fuck off and die in a corner need be all right. Well, I wasn't actually expecting you to deal that much damage. Great Funeral Concert, Ghostly Wheel Concerto Grosso. Uh, I don't know what this does. Before, each stat is set to that of the highest among the three Prison River Sisters. Is that still what it does? Because I thought that's just how combinations worked in general from Eternal onward. I don't know. Don't know. By the way, we're going to try and take this one out quickly. Oh, really? It's, that's only something particular to the Prison Rivers? Huh. Okay. But these are the Prison Rivers, so did they change the spell card effect or not? I don't know. I guess they didn't change it then. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. I've never actually played Super Robot Wars besides, you know, this one. Which isn't even Super Robot Wars. But, you know. Who 
wants this kill? I should decide who wants this kill. I guess it doesn't really matter. Actually, Marissa should probably grab it. Just because it's a kill. Well, the mailing needs levels badly. Alright, I think Marissa can nail this. Oh, that's risky. Ah, uh, you don't even have a 100% hit rate. Alright, we'll do... I really want to use game. I really want to use game. I want to get lots of levels out of this kill. Wait, I know. I know what to do. I'll just use these three. Okay, I know what to do. This will work. This will work. And then... I don't think I've ever used cheer this much. I've used cheer like three or four times this run. I don't think I've ever used it this much. This won't kill, I guarantee it. This will not kill. This isn't gonna kill and I'm not gonna get a gained kill out of this. Why did die move? That doesn't make sense. Why did die move just now? That must be a bug. Stage clear. There was a reason this chapter was a, a part one. And this is why. Alright, upgrades. Wait, actually before we do that. Oh yes, we get 30 now. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so Naz. And... Why does it still say these guys are back? I was able to use them last chapter. Whatever. 
So we got the Naz and where the fuck is Moko? Here we are. All right, that seems like a solid lineup. Now for upgrades. Huh? What? That's gotta be a glitch, right? Okay. Hold up. Hold right the fuck up. Why? Why though? We. Why? They don't appear here. Oh no. They have their own upgrades now? That is bull shit. That is bull shit. I liked it the old way. Because now I essentially have another unit I have to upgrade. Oh, that is terrible. I don't like that. I'm sorry, I don't. That's the whole reason why I bothered pumping upgrades into these three. I don't like that, actually. I, mean, I don't know if that's how they do that in uh, regular Super Robot Wars games, but I'm not used to that. I don't like that. Ugh. At least it's not a glitch. I'm glad it's not a glitch, at least. Alright. Um... You still don't have predict level two or enough for it rather. I don't think you do. I think it's 320 isn't it? Yeah I mean I get that but I don't know I I just don't like it. I think it was more unique the other way like, making it based on the average of the unit's upgrades. I, I think it was more unique that way. Might have been a bit harder to code, though. That's probably why they wound up. Alright. We'll replace... See... The reason I give Alice the Frozen Frog all the time... Just, just a little story here. Is because her, I use her Artful Sacrifice the most, but it requires 105 power. Back in the original Fantasy Maiden Wars, the Frozen Frog was just enough to get up there and use it from the get-go. If I put on the live ticket on her now, I could use a Shanghai Doll right away, but no. No, it's not worth it. So I'm going to put it on Marissa instead. But that's, that's why I always have the Frozen Frog on Alice always, because otherwise she's kind of useless until she gets up to 105, which kind of requires five enemies to be defeated since I'll raise her power by one each time. And that's just too much work to get Artful Sacrifice going. That, so that's my clever strategy. Alright, so now we have Spare Frozen Frog, which we can put on Moko, like we had before. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, well, yeah, I see that now. But, wait! So, okay, I thought what it was is it used all of their item slots. Like, like, let's say I had this, like, let's say I had this lineup in the old games. That's basically plus, well, it'd be plus 10 mobility because the cat tail used to do... Or the rat tail used to do 5 mobility. And then plus 30% accuracy because the e-shooters used to have 10. And, like, I thought I thought it would take all the items into account for a combined unit. And that's what made the three fairies of light pretty good. That's what made up for their shortcomings. Because I remember... Huh. I remember I used to just stack movement items on all three of these and it would take all of them. Like, it would average it out, like... Huh. Okay. I didn't know that. I swear that's not how it worked, but... I mean, again, you know more about this game than me. 
you know more than me, so you're probably right. But I could have sworn maybe it works like that in Eternal, and then like in Dream, it's how you say it is. Because I never experimented with the three fairies in Dream too much. So, but in Eternal, I would stack movement items on them, and I. I think like if an if an item increased move by one once you combine it to the three fairies, it only increased it by point thirty three. So you would need three movement items on them, but I thought that's how it worked. Now that I'm saying it out loud, it sounds very confusing, so I'm probably wrong, but that's weird. Alright, let's put items on Nazarin. I guess I guess we can take these off of you now. Nazrin now has four tails. Because there's the one she has and these three. So that's pretty cool. Although there was probably something better I could have given her. Like an E-shooter, let's do that. You can have an E shooter. Well, how about that? I never knew that. I'm learning new things about these games every day, and I actually really like that. Seriously, this game is like one of my favorite games of all time like the series the series I haven't even been playing it that long I've only been playing this game since like 2016 maybe 27 no nah, it was 2016 because that's when I graduated high school and I remember I would take a flash drive to school with Scarlet on it I couldn't do Mystic or Eternal at school because that required Japanese locale to get it to work and with the administrator rates and all that, I couldn't get that to work. But I could get Scarlet to work just fine, no problem. So I would play Scarlet at school. Like, whenever I'd have free time. Like, when I finished work early or whatever. So, I've been playing this since, like, 2016 or so. Just So I, I discovered it recently. Considering Scarlet came out back in, what, 2010? But, um... But it has quickly struck a chord with me. Like, it is. It has become one of my favorite games, if not my most favorite game of all time. Or game series, rather, since it's four different games. But this game, this game right here, might just become my favorite. Since it's basically the four previous games, but even more polished. Once they iron out all the bugs this game started off with, which they've done most of them, once they iron out all the bugs, this has amazing potential that's just my opinion anyway that's my two cents all right did we check skills already i think we did for most characters yeah okay all right. um oh right i guess we need to upgrade you a little bit We're not upgrading these guys right now. We'll wait till we actually need them. Although, actually, they are low-leveled, so... I probably should use them, which means I should upgrade them. of the fairies though right as long as sunny hasn't used her turn and as long as they're within range of each other you can combine with any of the fairies right i seem to remember that being a thing same with the prison rivers i don't know 
I, uh, it's been forever since I played Eternal and Dream, so, and Mystic. You can combine with any? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. As long as Sunny hasn't used her turn, I guess. Let's see. I think we already did that, though. Alright, anything else we need to do? I think that just about wraps that intermission screen up. Ah, okay. Alright, I see. Makes sense. Alright, I'm, I'm starting to get this down now. Alright, well, I've been going about two hours at this point, so I think this is a good stopping place. Um... What do I want to say before I go? Uh, tomorrow's stream, first of all. I should be able to stream tomorrow. It'll probably be sometime after 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, but, but yeah, um, it should be after 2 p.m. Eastern, but I don't know when after 2 p.m. It could be like 2.30, it could be 6.30, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, but it probably definitely won't be before 2, unless like a miracle happens and my schedule isn't complete shit, which it's happened for the past two weeks. So on the one hand it could happen, but on the other hand I kind of run out my luck. So, whatever. Anyway, uh, so there's that. Uh, I think I've still got that poll going on on my Twitter.com. So if you haven't voted in that yet, go ahead, take a look, give it a vote if you want. You guys can influence what game I play next, besides this one. Uh, yeah. Um. And I just want to apologize again for not streaming yesterday. I wouldn't feel so bad about it, except that I said I would be streaming, but then, then shit happened and I couldn't, I couldn't. Unexpected things happened. So, so barring any unexpected shit tomorrow, I should be streaming tomorrow in the afternoon or the early evening or whatever. So, we'll see. I'll let you guys know though. Anyway, uh, I think that just about wraps it up. I think that's all I wanted to say. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I will see you guys later. Have a nice night, you guys. Thanks for watching.